Oh, there's always something that breaks at Club J or J's Bar. Here's one of the fog machines. I have it taken apart. You no doubt have seen them in the videos. And I have about a million and a half pieces here. The pump doesn't seem to be working. It's not, or at least it didn't seem to be pumping anything. The way it goes is there's a reservoir. That thing goes in there and just sits in the fluid. And it goes through that tube, which you see, which runs through over here. And through this mess to the pump. Now I've taken the pump apart just to see what I can find. This fitting unscrews. You pull that out. And then there's a few other pieces. And in here, there is like a, it's basically a magnet that moves that circular thing that with the shiny thing that just went away which I guess was a bubble of fog juice um, that thing moves up and down that pushes this thing up and down on top of that shaft is this thing and then this all fits over that and there's a check valve in there which is that black thing right in the middle so, I don't know why it doesn't work, because it certainly hums, and it seems like it should. So, uh, about the only last thing I have to do is to uh, put some compressed air through there and see if I feel it through the pump. Make sure there's no blockage, because there is certainly the possibility that the pump could have uh, gotten blocked by some crap. As it is, that thing does not look as clean as I would like. So I'm going to see what happens with some compressed air and then we'll see what we can do. Okay, I just uh, cleaned everything out with compressed air. I got a lot of crap come out of here. There we go, we're ready. Uh, this spring inside shot out. I didn't see anything else because it shot out in this tray thing, you know, the bottom case of it. I don't see any other parts. This was the other piece. This goes in there, and then fitting on that is this piece. Okay. So that goes on there, and there's an O-ring that's on that, as you see, to make a seal against that. That has an O-ring to make a seal against the inside of that. That has its own O-ring, which screws in, and there's another O-ring tucked in there. But I'm going to turn this on again and see if the pump vibrates, makes noise, something. Yes, it does. Okay, good. So the next thing is I'm going to put this little plunger thing back in. Well, I guess I'm going to need two hands, so let me see how I can angle this here. That fits in something like that, and I'm going to hold it. I don't know if you can see any of this, but... Yeah, okay. Well, it did work. So that vibrated that, so that's good. Okay. It blew off the plastic piece in my O-ring, but they're there, so let me put that back together. Or of course, never, ever work on something with the power on, but because I'm a ninja, <laughs> I don't need that shit. Safety third. Anyway, plunger's back in, and the way it works is that spring and the electromagnet moves this thing up and down, and that's what creates the pumping action to suck it up from the reservoir, which is sitting over here, and through the pump, and then ultimately through that thing, which also has its own O-ring. So I'm going to put everything back together, and we'll see if we can make it work now. Okay, now we have everything back together here. All the parts went back exactly as they were, and I'm going to test it, but I really don't have any way to test this. You know, I don't want to mount it and hook the fitting back up and all that, so I'll just let it dump in the tray there. But unfortunately, due to the way they designed this, without pulling this thing off, which I don't want to do, I have to put the whole cover back on the unit. So we'll put it back and give it a test and see if we get anything. Okay, we're back together. Full of fog juice and all kinds of great shit. So, you can also watch the tube, although I don't know how much you can see through it. And I'll just leave it run for a minute and see what happens. Ooh. Okay, we just lost, uh, the heating element has to reheat. I don't know why the pump shut before that. That was a little odd. 
I hope something's not knackered with it. Seems a lot quieter, and I'm not even sure about that, but let me wait till the uh, heating element recycles, and then we'll go from there. Okay, I adjusted the fitting on there. Maybe I had it too tight. It seemed to be extremely quiet when I had it all the way tightened, and when I loosened it, it seemed like that plunger was moving freely. Oh, you saw that? Cool. So it sucked up some juice. That means I may have fixed it. Now I didn't leave it long enough to pump all the way through. So I'm gonna tighten that down just a little bit and then we'll see if we get it to work. Okay, just so I don't have to keep taking this in and out, I'll just bring the reservoir of fog juice out. Cause that shit is $20 a gallon. 20 bucks a gallon, it's ridiculous. Anyways, um, the pump will pump water, I've done that before. So I know, I think the thing is in there enough. We'll give it a shot and see what we get. I'll just spill it in here. See, it doesn't seem like it's pumping yet. And we lost the heating element, so we gotta wait. Okay, I just loosened the fitting at the end there. And uh, while we're waiting for the heating element to recycle in this thing, it's pretty nondescript. It's just wrapped up in this crap. I mean, it just looks like it's gonna... There, I don't know if you saw the flash of the... the cutout switch, the thermal switch here. But anyway, I loosened the fitting a bit. I'll give it a shot again, because it did pump before, but then I tightened that fitting again. I'm hearing, but I'm not seeing. And there should be some in the line, because you, I, well, I don't know if you saw it on video before, but I certainly did. It did suck it up. So let's loosen it a bit more. Oh, I'm hearing better sounds. The loud sound is kind of good. I think we gotta loosen it some more. Let's see if I can just do it. All right, try again. Oh, there. Not terribly smooth. It did pump and then it stopped. Let me get a paper towel. Okay, very unorthodox test. I don't have that tightened all the way down because that's the only way it seems to pump. I hook the fitting back up. It's just water still. We are getting puffs of stuff. Now that's leftover fog juice. It looks like it's trying to do stuff. I want to see if it's going to leak from there. I don't care how much water it pumps through, that's fine. I'm concerned that it moves fluid. Mm, it's doing something, but I don't think it's got enough. That fitting has really got to be tighter. That just doesn't seem right. All right, let me keep playing with it and we'll see. I don't know if you could see that right there. Too much. See the difference? It looks like stuff is being pumped through, but... I don't know. I don't have any leaks anywhere. Although, I, I think this pump was leaking for some time. Still just pumping little puffs of stuff out. Now, that could be the water going in there and just vaporizing. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it run for a while and see if the level of water in there goes down. Okay, I don't know where we last left off, but I have everything back together again. I took, I know I took the fitting off and I pumped a bunch of water through it. 
that's real fog juice in there and it looks just like water so make sure you drink that and right <laughs> let's give it a shot here and see what happens we're not kinked sounds like it's moving stuff there's gonna be water still in the line so I'll, I gotta leave it for a bit I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it is puffing a little bit. You'll probably hear it. There's not much to really go wrong here. You know, if a seal went bad, that's one thing, but there's nothing to go wrong. So I'll leave this cook for a bit and we'll see what happens. Okay, I don't know how many hours I've been playing with this now. It seems to want to pump. We've got a little shit. But like, not enough flow. Just loosen that some more. Oh, why are we getting shit in here? Oh, it's just coming around, I see. It's not kinked anywhere. I have no idea. I mean, I don't, I don't have this fitting tight, tight, but that shouldn't really... It just doesn't pump. So I guess I'm going to have to look for another fog machine, but where to find one now? When it's not anywhere near Halloween kind, I have no idea. This is the slave one. <laughs> That's why there's two. So I could always adjust it, but... To run longer. The rest of it's good. All I need is a pump. It's weird. Some! And then it just petered out. I think those are air bubbles. Looks like we're leaking some shit in there. It's just... That's what I was doing before. So, there's something with this pump that's not right. I'll take the thing out. That's why the heating element is satisfied for so long as well because the the fog juice cools it as it runs through but because we don't have much pressure you know I mean it's sort of kind of so I think what I'll do is I'll put it back together I don't know why like there's no it's out of the fluid so this is all residual stuff, but... Okay, now we're getting bubbles. And then when I squeeze the line, like I'm pumping it, it runs smooth again. They're still out of it, though. So, yeah, this, this one's fucked up. So it looks like I'm just going to get a new one. I've had this thing for... Geez, a few years, certainly. A couple of years, easy. The first set, see, when I got the controller for it, which I have back there, uh, I hadn't figured the wiring out correct, 
and I wired it incorrectly such that there's a thermal cutout which is um, in its I think it's mounted right in yeah it's mounted right in this thing I had found there's a thermal cutout so I, I'm sorry not a thermal cutout but a over temperature I forget exactly what in the hell it was and uh, it's like a fusible link. If it blows, then the heating element doesn't work. So I had it wired incorrectly. So this heating element was always on. It was bypassing the thermal cutout switch here. And it just kept heating and heating and heating until finally, I guess it pulled too much current or whatever, and it blew that thing. So what I did is I temporarily just cut the wire here, cut the wire here, and just basically attach that wire back over here and made it work again. You know, the element just came back on. So everything else is good. I'm going to put that back in the juice, not that it's going to matter. I can see some crap in here. It's just not pumping right. Alright, so enough rambling. We know we got a bad pump. And I can't really fix it because I've done everything I can, so I got it kind of working. So we're going to leave it like that, and I'll look for another machine. Too bad we couldn't resurrect it, but I've had it for a while, so I guess uh, it certainly outlived its uh, expected lifespan of about five days. So that'll do it for now. Until next time, take care. I made it work! It's later. I didn't play with anything, but look at this thing chooch! Holy crap! Now that liquid was there. I don't know if it's actually leaking or not. I'm just keeping the thing held down. This is friggin' amazing! I just ordered another one online. Which... I... was gonna just take apart and uh, swap in the pump if it's the same. Now the heating element cut out. So, uh, yeah, I was going to just uh, get the pump from that and then uh, put it back together, bring it back to the store, because I love that kind. Because I can't find this one. Target sold it. And, uh, of course, they don't have any now. It's, it's not leaking how it is. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mop up what's there. We'll just wait. This stuff is terrible. I hate this stuff. And I'm burning through all this. Ugh, it's I hate it. It's like ice cold. I don't know why. It just feels icy cold. It's probably really not good for you. I'll come right back when the element uh, comes back online. There we go. Just came back on, and that is pumping nice and strong. I don't know what I did. I don't know what happened, that fitting is still kind of loose, but it ain't leaking. That works enough for me, I don't know. <laughs> it may not be right, but it works. I'm going to run this until the element shuts again, and uh, then we'll come back in a second. Okay, I lied. What I did is I took the thing out for a bit to create some air. I don't know if you can see the bubbles go by. They should be hitting the pump soon. Apparently it just runs on a very little bit of fluid. Yeah, there. There's the air. Okay. And now I want to wait. See? Yeah. See? I see the fluid going. I don't know if you can pick any of this uh, on the camera. But right there. Nice and strong to me. That's plenty of friggin' fog. So, I'm gonna get a couple of paper towels and put that back together. Clean that up, put everything back together. And, uh, I'll probably just end up keeping the fog machine. I think everything is the same on it. I'm running out of battery power right now, but they use uh, a reverse. Uh, IEC connector 
and that one has a wireless remote so it has this thing which plugs in and a box and there's a receiver on that and they give you a little remote thing um, so I might just keep it for the gag of it and uh, the nice part is that being that they use the reverse IEC um, it's a direct plug-in replacement and so if one dies in the middle of Jay's Bar and Club J I can just drop another one in and get going just put some fog juice in and we're ready to go anyway it's fixed for now so I fixed it I don't know how but there we go <laughs> so I'll put it back together and uh, wait and see what happens alright until next time make sure you click the like button make sure you click subscribe Thanks again for watching. Take care. Is that enough fog? They're both going. That's the one I just fixed. I'm hitting the button manually now. That's, uh, I think that's enough fog. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think that's it. I think that's enough fog. That ought to do.